The marvel of China's mega bridges has been one of great awe in the West. During China's 13th five-year plan, spanning from 2016 to 2020, the country has seen a huge breakthrough in bridge development. During this time, the country has made ongoing improvements in the field of bridge design and construction, setting numerous world records. More than 14,000 railway bridges have been constructed and opened for traffic during the period, covering close to 5,500 miles or 8,900 kilometers, among which approximately 4,000 miles are high-speed railway bridges, according to information from the China Railway Corporation. China has constructed countless brilliant new bridges, including the longest and highest, but many have been criticized for bringing with them debt and corruption. In today's video, we take a look at some of the world's greatest feats of construction when we take a closer look at China's incredible mega bridges. Welcome to another video from Future Tech Enthusiast. Before we get right into the video, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button, and also make sure to hit that bell icon to make sure you get notified whenever we release new videos. The Qixi Bridge. Climbing over a lush valley in southern China, the Qixi Bridge is a 1.4 mile long miracle of concrete and steel. Four docks, like elegant tuning forks as tall as skyscrapers, with massive steel cables holding together a four-lane expressway 600 feet or 180 meters above fields of rice and corn. The Qixi Bridge was opened for traffic in October 2016 after being under construction since March of 2010. The bridge was the world's first multiple-span cable-stayed bridge. The Qixi Bridge is one of the hundreds of massive bridges raised across China in recent years. Chinese officials honor them as proof that they can initiate infrastructure structure bigger, better, and higher than any other place can. China now holds the world's highest bridge, the longest bridge, the highest rail trestle, and a host of other superlatives, usually besting its own efforts. The jaw-dropping structures have slashed travel times in many areas, made business simpler, and have been the driver for a sizable part of the country's economy, laying a base, in theory at least, for decades of future development. But as the bridges and expressways they span continue growing, critics believe construction has become an end against itself. Fueled by government-sponsored loans and forced by the big construction companies and officials who benefit from them, many of the projects are accumulating debt and producing corruption while raising indisputable transportation benefits. For all its modesty, the Qixi Bridge in Hunan province conceals the wicked underside of China's infrastructure boom. Its expense, $300 million, was over 50% more than the budget. The project crossed swords with delays and a serious construction accident and was blemished by government corruption. Since it opened in October, the bridge and the expressway that spans across have been underutilized and buried in debt. The cost of passing over the Qixi Bridge, starting at around $3 and higher based on the size of the vehicle, is already unattainable for most villagers who live below it. But if the judges are still out on the bridge's benefits, one can still praise their engineering expertise. The Duge Bridge the Duge Bridge, which is also known as the Beipanjang Bridge, is a construction marvel, and it stretches 4,400 feet above the Beipan River. The bridge was the highest in the world when it was opened with its road deck sitting at 1,850 feet, or 565 meters, above the river below. Construction of the bridge started back in 2011 and was completed five years later in September 2016. The construction of the massive bridge was not cheap and is reported to have surpassed 1.02 billion yuan, or 140 million US dollars. The number of high bridge erection in China is just crazy, claimed Eric Sikowski, an American bridge fan who has a website on the world's highest bridges. China's opening, say, 50 high bridges each year, and the whole of the rest of the world combined may be opening 10. Of the world's 100 highest bridges, 81 are in China, including a few incomplete ones based on Mr. Sikowski's data. China also has the world's longest bridge, the 102-mile Danyang Kunshan Grand Bridge, a high-speed rail viaduct moving parallel to the Yangtze River, and is nearing achievement of the world's longest sea bridge, a 14-mile cable stay bridge soaring across the Pearl River Delta, part of a 22-mile bridge and tunnel crossing that links Hong Kong and Macau with mainland China. We take a closer look at both of these bridges later in the video. China's expressway development has been compared to that of the United States in the 1950s when the interstate system of highways was constructed. In 2016 alone, China built 26,100 bridges on roads, of which 363 extra large ones with an average length of about a mile. China dedicates a much higher share of its economy to constructing infrastructure than the West, about 9% versus about 2.5% in the United States and Western Europe, according to McKinsey Global Institute. 
One of the primary motivations for China in doing so is the stimulation of economic growth. Infrastructure spending grew as a part of a huge stimulus plan following the 2008 global financial crisis. Each bridge may cost billions and hire hundreds of workers for many years. But the indefinite construction has also made a self-perpetuating gravy train, encouraging corruption and distorting priorities. The Xinkong Bridge 930 feet above the Dadu River in Luding County crosses the Xinkong Bridge. The massive suspension bridge has a main span of more than 3,600 feet or 1,100 meters, making it one of the longest ever constructed. From the towers on each side, reaching 188 meters in the air, hangs massive steel cables with a diameter of 77 centimeters. Each cable consists of more than 180 strands of 5 millimeter wide steel wires. The bridge was constructed as part of a new expressway between Yan and Kongding, aimed at reducing travel time immensely between the two cities located within the Sichuan province. The bridge was opened for traffic in 2018. The Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge Holding the record of the world's longest overseas bridge, this bridge is connecting China's southern economic hub of Guangdong province to Hong Kong and Macau. Beginning from Lantau Island in Hong Kong, the Y-shaped bridge will have a full length of about 55 kilometers, containing a 6.7 kilometer undersea tunnel and a 23 kilometer bridge above the sea. Laborers placed the last tower of the bridge on June 2nd, 2016, with the full construction ending in February of 2018, after being under construction since 2009. This bridge has become a crucial channel connecting Hong Kong, Macau, Zhuhai, and the western part of the Pearl River Delta, one of the most industrial developed areas in the Chinese mainland. The bridge has resulted in decreasing the previous four-hour drive from Hong Kong to Zhuhai in Guangdong to merely half an hour. The undersea tunnel has been one of the most complicated parts of the construction. The undersea structure included 33 huge immersed tube sections. During the seven-year construction of the bridge, workers and engineers have had to cope with a series of multiplex problems such as super tornadoes, hard sea conditions, and deep sea channels. Danyang Kushan Grand Bridge this bridge is constructed on the rail line between Shanghai and Nanjing in Jiangsu province. The full length of the bridge is an immense 102.4 miles or 164.8 kilometers and is located in the Yangtze River Delta where the geography is typified by lowland rice paddies, rivers, canals, and lakes. It passes exactly parallel to the Yangtze River around 5 to 50 miles or 8 to 80 kilometers south of the river. It runs through the northern boundaries of population centers, starting in Danyang and closing in Kunshan. There's a 5.6 mile or 9 kilometer long part over open water across Yangcheng Lake in Sushu. The construction was completed in 2010 and the bridge was open to the public in 2011. Employing more than 10,000 people, the project lasted for four years and had a total cost of about $8.5 billion. The Jiaozhu Bay Bridge Crossing over the Jiaozhu Bay, the Jiaozhu Bay Bridge decreases the road distance between Qingdao and Huangdao by 19 miles or 30 kilometers, compared with the highway across the coast of the bay, decreasing travel time by 20 to 30 minutes. The structure of the bridge is T-shaped with the major entry and exit points in Huangdao and the Likang district of Qingdao. A branch to Hongdao Island is linked by a semi-directional T intersection to the main span. The construction used 450,000 tons of steel and 2.3 million cubic meters of concrete. It was designed to be able to resist severe typhoons, earthquakes, and bumps from ships. It's held up by 5,238 concrete piles. The cross section includes two beams of in total 115 feet or 35 meters, supporting a six lane expressway. And that's it for today's video. Thank you for watching. Make sure to leave a comment down below and let us know what you thought about the video. And also let us know which of the mega bridges you thought was most impressive. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel for more exciting videos in the future. See you next time.